Out and about legends, good morning. Look where we are. The beautiful and amazing Bracken Beacons. Been dying to get this done since I've got back from uh, Australia over here. So we're gonna do hopefully the circular route today. Uh, and we'll see how I get on, but stick with us and uh, we'll bring you along for the adventure. We'll just show you quickly what we've got around us at the minute. There's a big pool up to the top here, so we'll see, um, it's been a while since I've done it, so we'll see how we get on, um, but looking forward to it. Right then, out in the boot legends, I don't know if you can see just here, is Corn Dew, um, it's going to be the hash point initially. Penny fan will be higher than that, 620 metres I believe, I'll find out when I get to the top. But if you can see, it's a bit of a pool all the way up the top, I don't know if you can see the, the road that pulls you all up, or the walkway that pulls you all the way up. Um, so it'll be good, it'll be interesting to get up the top here and see, but we're going to do the horseshoe circular, or the horseshoe sorry, so we're talking about, I don't know, 12, 13 miles maybe. Um, but we'll see, we'll see how we go and I'll bring you along for um, what we'll do, and we'll hopefully get some good foodies as well. You can see corn is just here now. Make a good time, we're not pushing it too hard. Just bimbling up, but we see where we've came from. Beautiful, eh? Absolutely stunning place. Let's keep pushing, see where we end up. To drop down there, you wouldn't want to um, experience. We're well and truly in the weather now, eating the boot legends. It's closed in. But um, looks like it might blow over, so we'll see as we go. We'll get the penny fan now. Okay then, legends, look at this behind us. So we've came down off penny fan now, we're making our way down this bit. All the way down over to the other high end over there so should be good stay with us on the adventure legends what can you say it's definitely not darwin in australia i'll tell you that <laughs> but hey we've got this to climb next so stop talking Let's start walking. Yummy.
Part of the old dam. See it here, look. This route is beautiful. And the weather's been great so far today. But we now hit um, a thing called Jacob's Ladder. Um, so I remember it from the days in the army when <laughs> I mean, you did it as part of your sort of leadership command courses, as it were. Um, and it's a it's a lick. I'll show you. I'll show you it now. What it what it looks like. So literally, you'll see the top of the hill there. There's that small path that runs all the way up that steep. Bet you have to climb that bad boy. Eat and a bit. Tippy two, tippy tea, tippy tower. Guys, you don't always can make this out. You just see it snake from where we are all the way around. It goes up the top, false horizon, then long and then on up again. You need to pull yourself to the top. So um, you can understand why the British Army and especially the Special Forces guys use this as their um, their ground for training people and also to um, find out who's got what it takes to be part of the best Special Forces in the world. So it is without doubt. A beautiful place but very demanding. Um, in the winter it's harsh up here but um, truly magnificent. So uh, we're going to stop and have a brew, have a wee cup of coffee and then we'll um, tackle this bad boy, get to the top and we'll move our way along and start heading back down again to see if we can get back down to the car park. Not no rush, not give ourselves any time. It is what it is, just enjoy the hike. See you in a bit. It's a lick here boys, it's a lick. Last wee push, up the top, and then it's along that ridge line, all the way along there. This ridge, um, all the way along to back towards where Clarendu is. Um, there's a path that leads down to the left, and you take one or two. Probably take the first one and then get to the bottom, come out of Pont de Dars and walk along. Um, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, beautiful. Look at this. So we're moving along the top of the ridge now, heading back towards 
uh, corn doing that. And you can see why as a training ground for like any military, this place is great. Uh, this is Sandy Bridge. Here. Um, really beautiful place. I mean, look at this. I know it's windy and you might not be able to hear me, but truly spectacular. It's definitely not Darwin in the Northern Territory. But Well then legends, have a look at this, spectacular, absolutely spectacular, it's beautiful, it couldn't be further away from the Northern Territory if you tried, it's in landscape comparisons, love the Northern Territory and I love the stuff that we do around there but this is some serious stuff out here too. We'll keep plodding along. This is the route that we're on. The clouds blown over. And we'll just keep on plodding. All the way back down to the car park. We're nearly at the turn off as we start heading down towards Monty Dars. We'll, uh, we'll keep you with us and see how we go. We're on our way back down. On our way back down. So this part will take us to Punty Darf, hang a right, we'll walk back up to the Story Arms car park. That'll be the full route. All done, taking in some classic scenery, amazing footage. So um, I'll give you a shout when we get back to the motor. See if my old knees are still hanging a bit. Famous story arms. They do all the see the guys doing the SAS training and stuff. When they all start to so the route that we started up and finished again. So it's been an awesome day. Just following this beautiful trail all the way around, doing the Bracken Beagles circular or um, wrong horseshoe route, which has been good. But in the same token bringing back old memories from being in the army over here in the British army and training around here but then seeing with the, the guys that are the uh, cream of the crop, the SAS guys do their training so absolutely fantastic. So uh, I'll leave it here with this one, hope you have a good one, stay safe. If you haven't already please like, share and subscribe for Ook and a bit.